four coaches on my channel where we discuss anything and everything to do with mental health and psychology. In this video, we'll be going through a day in the life of a clinical psycho trainee clinical psychologist. Don't get ahead of yourself. Um, so today's a university day and I just thought I'd take you along with me. And it's a new year, so I've started, I've tried to start a new routine and this is like my first day of the new routine so it's also about keeping me on track because I think what ended up happening I'm just making a coffee uh, but what's ended up happening last semester is that I feel like I was all over the place and I didn't because there was so much going on personally um, and just feeling a bit I don't think overwhelm is the right word, but like very like overstimulated and you know transitions are hard for er anyone and getting on, I think the one thing you don't expect is getting onto the doctor is so many transitions and that's like one of the difficulties. Um, I knew like leaving home would be hard, but I didn't think that it would accumulate into a lot of transitions. Um, rather than like one transition so I think like it just involves several transitions so um, what I tried to do last semester was literally survive get through and I literally did the bare minimum um, and this semester I'm paying for that where I haven't done um, the reading that I should, probably should have got done last semester um, so my new routine starts today I am, it's, it's six something, um, let me just put some water. So this semester I'm going to try and have order and structure and do more of what I want, the, like the reading, the um, routine that I want to do rather than just do a lot of personal things are happening, transitions, I've moved into a new flat midway through the semester. And it was just a lot happening. So I just had to protest, you know, my own well-being and did the essential stuff. Didn't do any of the extra stuff that wasn't really necessary. But this semester, because I want to get the most out of training. So this semester I am doing um, added extras and structure in my time. Obviously you can't control what happens in your personal life, but... Um, where I can, I want to control this thing. So then on the weekends, I'm not actually doing any work um, because I go home every single weekend, um, which is a lot anyway. Um, yeah, so it's something. And what I'm going to do, what the plan is to do, and also a weird angle because you're in the cupboard because I left my tripod at home. Anyway, we're going to start off the day with... So I've got a... Social anxiety lecture, which is essential. Um, so I need to get to uni by 9.30. It's currently like six something. I don't have a clock and I can't check on my phone because I'm using that to record. But anyway, um, so that's at uh, 9.30. Um, so what I want to get done before that is I want to get some, um, I'm gonna get some essentials done because I am going home today. Um, so I'm gonna like finish the washing, all of that kind of stuff do my skincare routine because that's, I just have to stick to that in the new year, in this year. Um, I am also going to get a systemic uh, chapter done because I'm working with someone systemically. So I actually want to learn about, even though I'm not gonna do a full systemic therapy with her, I want to know more about systemic, just so it helps me formulate and it helps me um, consider schemas more broadly rather than um, what I know about core beliefs because I want to have like separation between I know it's a fine line because a lot of therapies overlap but I do want in my mind to have some level of distinction between uh, different types of therapies so I am going to do that I'm also going to make a schedule for videos I've got video ideas but just to like have them in my diary um, that will be great. Obviously, when you make a to-do list, sometimes there's a bit too optimistic because you don't break them down into all that actual things or tasks that you have to do. 
so yeah um but yeah first uh, we're just gonna make coffee that's what we're gonna literally start with I'm also really proud in that I made my lunch last night, so I'm organised um, instead of having to make lunch because I'm trying to save money. Also, if you haven't realised, I own my new flat. Um, that's why I can openly walk around um, with a camera rather than when I was at home because obviously you start recording your whole family. Um, Okay, that is a very strong coffee, but if anything, it's going to wake me up. And to be honest, first day of a new routine, you probably need the energy, so. So from my assessment, my skin is quite dry, pretty much. So I'm going to be using um, the Evlom Radiance Face Oil to hopefully save the dryness. That's just pretty much a lip balm on these cold winter nights. It's not actually cold. Um, oh, uh, it is cold. Um, it's not actually night time, even though it pretty much looks like night time. So for those of you thinking, did you not have a coffee? Um, yes, I did. And um, I completely forgot about it. But yes, we're just going to drink it cold because there's no time now. Um, I didn't think that would take me as long as it did, so all I did was make coffee, um, do the dishes, do my skincare, and obviously um, I go to the toilet, stuff like that, but I didn't think, like normally it would never take me that long to do that, but I think it was because I was recording at the same time, because now it's 7 o'clock, so yeah, we need to get a move on. So we're just going to do some schema reading now. And then we're going to get ready, we're going to pack a bag because I'm going home today and then we're going to go to uni and we're going to learn about some social anxiety. So yeah, let's just get started because I'm going to keep rambling. Also, um, just to make sure this is very realistic, I also only read or study or whatever it is for half an hour and then I take a break and then come back for another half an hour. I don't want it to seem like I've just been sat here for an hour because my concentration does not allow that. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd put a disclaimer. So I've done a half an hour. What I might, um, and I've had my break, what I might actually do, I literally just went to the toilet and um, had like something to eat and then came back. Um, but I wanted it to be quick um, because I'm running out of time. Um, so I didn't bother to record it, um, but I'm going to do one more section. So I've literally just done um, one section on schema operations, like pretty much um, basics, because I'm literally doing the introduction uh, chapter. Um, so like uh, schema perpetuation and schema healing, what they are, um, what they might look like. Um, and how it relates to the therapy so there's not much but it's just about actually if I learn um, concepts each day eventually if I'm thinking about like I'm doing the doctorate for three years so if I learn at least one theory or I learn one mechanism I learn one technique over the three years that's going to add up and that's all I'm focused on I'm not focused on oh I need to do like a lot of reading um, because I know this is extra, because, uh, so, with the doctorate, the first year is pretty much focused on CBT, um, and systemic, so this I know is extra, um, and it's 
my I'm just taking control of my own development um, because I feel like a lot of the CBT yes I'm learning how to adapt to different groups but it's pretty much the same technique and it's building on the skills I already have so I rather nourish right now the skills that I don't have even though I feel like from reading about this uh, from scheme reading about schema therapy a lot of it is building on and it's um, derived from core belief work it's just an extension of that and going more deeper into the core beliefs or the schemas. It's just pretty much. And a great point that actually my supervisor said was that um, it's pretty much, there's a lot of overlap between the therapies, but what you'll learn is that it's just about learning a new language and pretty much that's what currently it feels like. But it does feel like it's taken the concept and extended it because I don't think... CBT and schema therapy are exactly the same but the concepts are the same so I feel like learning it is a little bit easier because I know I'm like oh yeah that's like core beliefs or oh that's like um whatever it is and there's lots of overlap it's just some of it is just about learning the new language um and extending the concepts that I already know about if that makes sense so I'm just going to read about maladaptive coping styles and responses. Again, this is still part of the introduction chapter. Um, and I probably won't get through the whole of this because it's like... Uh, how much is it? Pretty much like three pages. Um, so I probably won't get through all of it. Um, I'm just going to go through as much as I can until it's 8 o'clock. And then I'm just going to start getting ready because I don't want to be in a rush. Or get late for lecture. I always like being early um, for lectures, but during the last half of the semester, that just didn't happen. Um, just because I was all over the place. So um, this semester's pretty much the New Year's resolution for this semester is redemption, and we're trying to make up for what we did not do last semester. So I barely finished one chapter. But I'm going to go get ready because I don't want to get late. Um, but if I have time, I'll come back to this. So, Okay, guys, what I've realised, also apologies for this very weird angle, is that I've forgotten to take my vitamins. So we're going to do that now. Also, excuse the hair. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it, to be honest. Um, but yeah. If you're interested, I take iron, I take vitamin C, and I take vitamin D. Uh, when I go home, I'm definitely going to remember my tripod, because this is... You don't need to be seen with a you? So, I think I'm going to have to wait for another 10 minutes. Or 9 minutes. finally made it with like ten min five minutes left. guys that marks the end of my journey so end of the life a uh, day in the life of a trainee clinical psychologist hopefully you found it useful it helps you gain insight into the trainee clinical psychologist role because uh, it's quite similar to a trainee cbt therapist role yeah i think it's it's useful to have that cbt training but i'm still definitely feeling like i'm learning and my knowledge is being stretched um but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want me to make anything else, just let me know. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all of this good stuff. Bye.